James Malone is James the Wine Guy. Beautiful Riesling ahead. Now this is from the Finger Lights. Stay tuned for this review. So the producer that we have right here, La Maru Landing. Uh, this is from the Finger Lakes, of course. And uh, the Riesling, this is a 2013 vintage, uh, ABV of 12.8%. And back panel for your inspection right here, showing you that it is near Seneca Lake in uh, the Finger Lakes district. So you're going to see right here the IRF, so the International Riesling Foundation's uh, sweetness scale. So this Riesling is a medium dry. Uh, so, you know, I haven't tasted their other Rieslings, I hope, too, when I'm visiting uh, Finger Lakes this summer. I'm very excited to visit the Finger Lakes in 2015 in August. So for me, I think this is a fantastic, beautiful producer. And I would say this, ultimately when I looked at this wine, I thought, oh my gosh, it's almost done. And that doesn't happen very often. Uh, that, you know, yes, sometimes I do finish a bottle and uh, ultimately I look at the bottle and I, I, you know, went through this really quickly, which meant that I just kept tasting and tasting and not realizing how much I had uh, tasted. Uh, but for me, I think this is a really... Uh, you know, just showing and capturing the beauty of what's happening in Finger Lakes. So first of all, I want to point out, so they do have, uh, I believe, four other Dresings, or three other Dresings, including this one, Chardonnay, uh, Grune Fettlina, Gewitz Ramina, Cabernet Franc, Pinot Noir, and Merlot. And uh, they do blends of these wines as well. In this glass here, showing an exquisite, beautifully well-crafted, uh, handsome, beautiful Dresing, and uh, showing a star of what can happen in the Finger Lakes District in New York. So here we go first with the same characterization, flavor profile, and the point score. So uh, I love this glass. This is by Home Guard, a Danish producer. And uh, for me, it really delivers some beautiful notes. That's because I can swirl this around liberally and uh, get that beautiful notation, really uh, intense notes on this, including uh, you know very mineral forward wine here, uh, seashell uh, characteristics that I, that I like to point out, as well as yellow and golden citrus tones. Hint of almond and white peach. Next is the flavor characterization, then the point score. I'm actually surprised it's listed as a medium dry because it's much more on the drier end of the medium side. And um, I think that's a wonderful thing because I'm getting some beautiful characteristics out of this wine, such as white peach, Meyer lemon zest, seashells again, that really beautiful defined minerality, star fruit, and white tea. I give this wine a 9.3. Out of my 10.0 scale, think of this as 93 points out of 100 points. Can't wait to visit. Uh, if you have questions or comments, listen below. I'll put more information on the producer down below as well. Now, we can stay connected. I'm on a variety of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. So for me, I think uh, Finger Lights is just so overlooked in many ways. And yet, I think it's coming to age. It's coming to that point of recognition that it should get. So stay with me on this great journey of wine. Seek these wines out. This is fantastic. Thank you again for watching me today. Stay tuned for more. Salud.